Last week, on April 30th, Dave Ridley willfully and flagrantly violated New Hampshire state law, RSA 286-1 specifically. Would you care to make a... Video of that transgression and relevant links can be found at bikerbillnh.blogspot.com. We're doing an illegal puppet show to draw attention to the fact that the state has too many laws against just things they shouldn't have laws against. Prior to perpetrating his heinous crime, he had assiduously notified all law enforcement agencies with jurisdiction of his intentions. They ignored him. They ignored phone calls requesting assistance during the event. Yes, um, outside of the uh, Concord State House, there's a man holding a, a puppet show for profit without a license. I am, I am a... They even dismissed children seeking justice. By doing so, they too willfully and flagrantly violated New Hampshire state law, RSA 286-5, specifically. In an escalated effort to discover exactly what you got to do to get arrested in this town, today, May 6, 2008, Dave will compound his offenses, repeating his illegal activity, this time on hallowed state house grounds. But first... As it happens, too, there's another major event today at the Capitol. SB 337, relative to home education of children, has its House Education Committee executive session today. Video also to be available at the previously referenced blog. So, we've got homeschoolers in the house. As an act of civil disobedience, I'm what a marvelous audience for a puppet show. Is entertaining and enlightening children sufficient to draw the wrath of government? We shall see. So where did you learn to make puppets like that? They're very nice. Your mom. Your mom. So Dave, why are we back here today? Well, uh, I had promised that I would either uh, I, I would continue doing this outlaw puppeteering until I'd either made a thousand dollars in illegal profits or I'd been arrested. And they didn't arrest me the first time, so I have to continue <laughs> doing the show. Although I'm not really charging everybody admission. People are free to, you know, they are free to donate if they want to. But uh, at some point, we'll either reach the thousand dollar mark or we'll do something that gets an arrest. Now today, we are going to violate two different laws. Uh, although I'm not, I'm not going to violate two laws right now. This is sort of just an extra show we're doing right now as a courtesy to the homeschoolers who are here. But later on in the day, we are going to violate two laws by not only doing an illegal puppet show, but in an illegal location. It's time for you to pay your tax now. No. What are you doing in jail? What are you doing out of jail? Yeah, well, if you stay in jail, you'll be trespassing. So get out of my jail. Isn't it great to live in a free country? Well. At least we don't torture people. <laughs> it's time for me to go now, too. Bye, kids. Bye. There's a regulation that says we're not allowed to demonstrate on house grounds, so we just decided to avoid that. Now, with a permit, you can. If you get a permit, but we haven't gotten the permit, we're not going to. They but order you have us kids here, yeah, they're having a good time. Exactly. I mean, you're not causing no problem, you're not just, I mean, what's illegal about it? Welcome everybody to the third, uh, <laughs> the third Outlaw Puppeteering Show. Actually, I guess we'll call it the second, Outlaw Puppeteering Part Two. And uh, the reason we're here today is to demonstrate against the legislature's failure to repeal laws. I see five million words worth of New Hampshire state law. It needs to be taken off the books. Some bad laws are still enforced, other bad laws are not. We're gonna break this one, of course, that's not enforced, the uh, law that says you cannot give a puppet show for profit without a license. 
We're also going to break a second law today, or at least an ordinance, that says you can't have a demonstration like this on house grounds without a permit. Many times, many of us have been told to leave this area while demonstrating. People try to silence us because they don't like our message or whatnot, and many times we have complied. Today, I'm not going to comply. If I'm told to leave this location, I will not leave. So, part two, we break second. Uh, we break two laws. Now, part three, if it comes to that, we'll break three laws. Three harm. Uh, three laws in a harmless manner. In the year 1846, the United States government, well, they had this idea. Hello, I'm the United States federal government, and I had this great idea. I think we should invade Mexico and kill lots of Mexicans. What do you guys think about that? No. No. Okay, great. Well, we're going to do it. <laughs> oh, that's good. Interdict through! What are you doing in jail? What are you doing out of jail? I don't understand what you're doing. I don't understand what you're trying to accomplish. Measured in hours, and just hours later, he says, I'm outraged. I have a right to stay in jail and protest this evil in Mexico. Condolences, Dave. Better luck next time. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs>